that word, lazy, it's an insulting and negative trait. It's a voluntary, purposeful decision to not act, despite being perfectly capable and in favorable circumstances to do so, often for petty and selfish reasons. Emotional exhaustion is not voluntary. It can be disabling and it can't just be turned off. It's one of the signs of burnout involving your psyche and emotions feeling like a deflated scrapyard tire. So how can you tell if it's emotional exhaustion? Well, let's take a look at some signs. Number one, you can't seem to get work done, but you normally do or learn something even if it's small. Now though, it's like you blank out at your workstation all day and okay, you're home again. What happened? Thinking back carefully, emotional exhaustion may be at play. Unlike your usual self, you were easily sidetracked and all your regular tasks felt like monumental hurdles. Maybe you missed several important deadlines despite knowing they were there. It's like everything is just one gray wash and you simply can't focus or bring yourself to be into any one thing. One day of this could stem from that all night gaming session. Most days of this happening for more than a few weeks, that could be emotional exhaustion. Number two, you're so tired, but you haven't really done anything. You're puzzled. Falling asleep has been fine. You're not waking up throughout the night. Maybe you've even had power naps during the day, yet you're still moving and thinking like you're trapped in thickened pudding. This could well be emotional exhaustion trying to get you to slow the heck down and enact some self-care. You might've been ignoring your wants and needs with all energy going to others or to work, whatever it is. This is a reminder to take care of your emotional health. Journaling, talking to a sympathetic friend, or maybe a therapist can help to restore what sleep can't. You also may not have had time to yourself for inner peace moments. So meditation or even a long hot bath might help. Number three, this isn't good enough. Nothing is good enough. You're finding that suddenly you aren't satisfied with anything you do. How could you have thought before that that little error was, well, little, it's huge. Oh my goodness, you're starting to spiral. You just know this is gonna get you canned. This is emotional exhaustion. Hello, I believe we've met. Yep, weirdly enough, emotional exhaustion seems to make a person an uber perfectionist nightmare. Things you just dealt with before, now it all really bugs you, leading to more and more things bugging you. And it all feels catastrophic. You berate yourself for the smallest perceived error, self-criticizing like a torture master that feeds shame, fear, and sadness, which means more mistakes. Yep, you see where that goes, nowhere good. So if you start to see yourself ramp up the self-hate, getting stuck to the point where you're constantly frustrated to tears and completely unsatisfied with everything, that's a sign that says, take a step back. You can do it. You have your own history and evidence around you to prove that this is unusual, that you're still doing the same good job you were doing a month ago. It's telling you it might be time to care for yourself. Maybe reach out for help to guide you back to a good place. Number four you feel irrationally irritable. Emotional exhaustion leaves you raw and vulnerable to stressors that you'd normally handle with ease, leading to nervousness. No longer the calm rock of resilience, you're now always on edge, your mind twitching on fight or flight mode. Everything feels more threatening and insulting. As such, you may find yourself interpreting even the most neutral exchanges and actions as offensive or shady. You wanna lash out like a cornered animal. Oof that could bite you back pretty hard. You know who you are. You might even feel yourself snapping at someone and simultaneously inside screaming, what is wrong? Why are you acting like this? Listen to that under voice. Do you ever find yourself wondering how to build good habits that can last? Are you wondering how you can stay committed to your goals? If so, we'd like to introduce you to today's sponsor, Fabulous, the number one self-care app to help you build better habits and achieve your goals. Finding yourself in the need of a quick boost of inspiration? Try out Make Me Fabulous, a series of guided trainings dedicated to supercharging your experience and helping you discover a variety of habits, topics, and goals. Its premium membership unlocks every feature so you can do it anywhere at any time, as if you had a personal coach in your pocket. And what makes it even better, you can restore and back up your journey progress. Need some more inspiration? Check out Fabulous's challenge feature, 
which provides short-term programs that inspire you to reach a specific goal. My favorite challenge is the 30-day declutter challenge, which has tasks as easy as organizing your bedroom or getting rid of expired food from your fridge. Fabulous is 100% personalized. All you have to do is set up your daily routines and from there, you'll also be able to join a community where you can stay accountable with other users. Right now, the first 100 people who click on the link will get 25% off Fabulous Premium subscriptions. So let Fabulous help you achieve your goals. Number five, you're eating weird and sleeping is off. Sure, we like chocolate as much as the rest of you, but no matter how long we spent on that one project, we usually still feel guilty eating a whole bar for our dinner. Emotional exhaustion also exhausts reasoning, or at least your willingness to reason. This affects food intake. Maybe you couldn't be bothered to think about real food, so that bag of nachos sure sounds great. Actually, the last four nights in a row were like that. Or you cruised on autopilot and ate a dinner of potato chips and two marshmallows. What? At bedtime, you might find that your body is so tired, but you can't get sleepy. Or you just don't haul yourself to bed at a normal hour. What day is it again? All these things contribute to low mood and brain fog, which makes it even harder to seize your get up and go when your day starts. And the rest of your day doesn't get better after that. Emotional exhaustion sucks. Like other mental health issues, it's not physically noticeable like a broken leg. Society for so long has also followed the corporate line of overworking is admirable, making us believe that this exhaustion is somehow due to our defect. Now that burnout and the emotional exhaustion it comes with are recognized as medical entities, you can start on the road to healing and gain back that self-esteem. Emotional exhaustion is not you saying, I'm a brat who just doesn't want to do it. It's a sign you may need time to yourself and possibly a reach out to a professional for help getting back in your zone. Did you or have you recognized any of these symptoms? Has this video helped you understand something different about yourself? If so, how? Please feel free to comment and share. If you're not too exhausted, kindly tap that like button too. And we'll see you soon.